Welcome back to CBS 2 News this morning on this Tuesday. It's the 19th of December. We're inching closer to Christmas Day. John Elliott is in the first alert forecast center right now with our favorite part of the day, and that is checking in with our weather watchers who are, they're probably freaking out. Yesterday was so warm today. It's so much colder, right? Well, and that was one of my concerns. So I'm, I'm appreciate to Cindy, one of our weather watchers, backing me up on this. First off, you head to the Jersey Shore. These numbers are dramatically cooler through Brooklyn and out on the island. But look at these numbers even colder. So Cindy made this comment and my concern was with moisture and the drop in the temperature. She's saying everything is frozen. My concern is right outside your front door. Any kind of moisture that's left around could ice up. That's definitely the case today into tomorrow morning as well. And there will still be some drainage issues. And then these numbers, it's very cold. Also appreciate the hard work. I mean, this is a picture. Walter got this yesterday. Look at there's so much water. Tony sent in this picture. I mean, you can actually see how angry that is. So this is what we're dealing with today, these residual problems. It is fine an evergreen day. Appreciate that. And remember when your aunt would give you candy like this? It's hard candy day as well. So sweet Bob sent that in. All right, let's talk about those temperatures. The drop you feel, you sense, and it does contribute to a kind of a return to normal December numbers after skyrocketing for a good part of the month. Want to use some model guidance though. What's it feel like? So this morning wind chills are actually going to retreat a bit and then into the afternoon after work after school it's going to be even colder. It's just very brisk. It'll be brighter over the next few days but if you catch the wind it's very cold. Same deal tomorrow morning. We finally see things moderate a bit into Wednesday but we're set Settling into a cool pattern, but it is a dry pattern, so we do get to catch our breath. Be mindful, though. Some of uh, you know, the Passaic River is probably the most problematic because it's going to peak today and then it's going to recede over the next few days, but the weather is going to cooperate. However, I mean, you deal with four, five, six inches of rain, you are going to see residual problems. The good news is straight flurry, maybe a drop here and there, but that's about it. It is nice and dry. Oh, and, and, and you know what else is missing? I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I don't see any snowflakes. So let's send it out to uh, Tony Siddiqui with some uh, snow stats and snow fun coming our way. Morning, Tony. Yeah, good morning, John. I was looking at the temperatures you're showing, and I'm like, man, if, if we had some precipitation, maybe some of that rain we had yesterday, we'd maybe have some snow to show you. Not the case now. And uh, the big question, though, is how do we define a white Christmas, especially as we approach the holidays? A lot of you growing up, maybe you're thinking, well, if it's snowing or there's snow on the ground, that's a white enough Christmas, right? Well, the National Weather Service put some uh, actual, put an actual definition to this, and I'm showing that to you right now. So a white Christmas is defined officially as there being an inch of snow on the ground at 7 a.m. It's got to be at 7 a.m. Don't ask me why, but that's the official definition. So what are the odds we see that this year? Uh, well, statistically, it's only about 11 percent of the time. Right, so it's not like our odds are that good on any given year. This year, we're certainly not taking that to the bank, especially considering just how much of a premium snowfall has been in New York City. So where do you got to go to find some snow? Well, right now, biggest snow depth is out across the Rockies. We've got a little bit of Ohio Valley between now and the holiday. Any additional snow should be confined out there across the Rockies and the Upper Plains as well. So Chris Mary, it seems like we'll have to keep dreaming of that white Christmas, at least here in New York City. Tony, we're going to hold out hope. We're not, uh, I don't care what those percentages say. We Fingers are going to hold out hope. Yeah. All right. Good to see you, Tony. Thank you. Bye-bye.